Representative Abigail Spamberger has announced more than $160 million is going to hospitals and clinics around the state. Of Abigail Spanberger making efforts to beef up supply chains. Abigail Spanberger wants answers. She's calling for an investigation. Representative Abigail Spanberger launched the Trust in Congress Act. This bill would force representatives to put their stocks in a blind trust, what she calls a foolproof way to prevent insider trading. 7th District Representative Abigail Spanberger wants to extend the USDA's Child Nutrition Waiver Authority into 2023. Valentine's for Vets aims to collect valentines that will be distributed to veterans. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger launched the program yesterday for those living in the 7th Congressional District. Representative Abigail Spanberger was able to secure more than $900,000 to purchase the truck, and she says the funding will help address an existing gap for firefighters in Blackstone, Fort Pickett, and neighboring towns. Abigail Spanberger wants to increase the amount of federal dollars spent on addiction treatment. And Rockwell County officials joined Representative Abigail Spanberger yesterday to celebrate the county's planned detox and rehab center. Earlier this week, yesterday, President Joe Biden signed into law a bill from Representative Abigail Spanberger that would help fund the project. U.S. Representative Abigail Spanberger will host a telephone town hall tonight. The Congresswoman plans to discuss issues veterans in her district face on a daily basis. Representative Abigail Spanberger is introducing a bill that would give new truck drivers a tax credit and experienced drivers a financial incentive to continue. Now, Representative Abigail Spanberger is working with the White House to change that. The infrastructure bill is helping to fund broadband access across Virginia. The House passed a $55 billion bill co-sponsored by Representative Abigail Spanberger. It includes $42 billion for the hospitality industry, which includes restaurants and bars that have struggled during the pandemic. Representative Abigail Spanberger says she's pushing for a semiconductor factory in either Henrico or Chesterfield. 7th District Representative Abigail Spanberger, a member of the U.S. House Foreign Affairs Committee, has been sanctioned by the Russian Federation. She says she considers it a, quote, badge of honor. During a small ceremony, the 92-year-old veteran from Crew was joined by Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger, who presented several medals to Tuck. Representative Abigail Spanberger says these investments are part of a long-term plan to keep Virginia's economy growing. Representative Abigail Spanberger says her office has returned more than $16 million in federal benefits to people living in the 7th District. Representative Abigail Spamberger is pushing to increase pay and hiring of law enforcement officers. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger tells us she has heard from Virginia parents who need help and are very frustrated. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger was one of the first to pressure the White House last week to use the Defense Production Act to make more formula. Representative Abigail Spanberger says the American Rescue Plan and infrastructure bills both included the, for the first time that broadband was classified and discussed as a utility much like electricity and water. 7th District Democratic Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger has been ranked one of the top five most bipartisan U.S. House members. Virginia Representative Abigail Spanberger led the push for a package of bills. It targets consolidation in the meatpacking industry, makes cheaper biofuel more widely available, and lowers fertilizer prices for farmers. U.S. Representative Abigail Spanberger helped introduce the Formula Shortage Reporting Act. It would require formula makers to notify the FDA about potential disruptions to the formula market. Democratic Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger, who represents parts of Chesterfield on the federal level, says she pushes for closing loopholes in gun shows and online sales, raising the legal age to 21 to buy an assault rifle, and safe storage rules to prevent children from accessing firearms. House of Representatives passed legislation led by Virginia 7th District Representative Abigail Spanberger to increase federal support for veteran suicide prevention. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger says a new bill will include more than $1 million for Henrico County to build bus stop amenities. Virginia Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger is announcing a new $3 million grant for improvements along the Route 1 corridor in Spotsylvania County. Frankly, there's not a place that I go in our district where I do not hear about the cost of prescription drugs and the impact on people's lives particularly seniors who live on fixed incomes. Virginia Representative Abigail Spanberger has sent a letter to Governor Glenn Youngkin regarding the disaster on I-95 during a snowstorm back in January. 
Democratic 7th District Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger is pushing leaders in the U.S. House to vote on her congressional stock trading ban bill. Representative Abigail Spanberger and Republican Representative Chip Roy introduced bipartisan legislation that would mandate lawmakers and their immediate family members put stocks in blind trusts while they're in Congress. Representative Abigail Spanberger announced the funds, saying the money is going to help reduce congestion on our highways, support good paying jobs, and bring more businesses to Virginia.